after a true one-inch sliding head machine, then look no further than the FD range from Star. Now, Steve, tell us what this machine is really going to do. Well, for starters, as you said, it's an inch machine. We haven't made an inch machine for many years. It's been a bit of a pet project of mine, liking to have an inch machine because we went from 20 to 32. So we've now made this, and as you say, there's a series, there's four models, and it's the same configuration. There's just some little subtle differences from a programmable B-axis to a manual B-axis to a machine that has two B-axis. So yeah, fundamentally, the machines are the same, just little differences internally. Okay, tell me about the patterns. What ultimately can we achieve from this setup? Well, for me personally, the biggest advantage is the amount of work we can do on the backside now. We've got eight, eight tools of draw driven plus two additional turning tools. So um, conventionally we've had eight tools on the back. Now suddenly we're up to 10. So that gives us more opportunity to pass features onto the back because as you know, to overlap as much as you can reduces your cycle time, therefore helps and, and your profitability. In addition to the uh, increased overlapping capability, we have a lot more sort of driven tool wise on the front end for a, a platen type machine. As you can see here, there's four driven tools which you can put cartridges on. So we've put a triple front base in. There's two stations at the top where again, you can put a gear hobbing unit and then you've got a four tool fully programmable B-axis which is counter based so it can do angular work on the backside. Again, then with your turning tools, both sides and your, drill, and your static drilling, plus an additional deep drilling station at the side of the sub spindle. I know you said this is a new machine, but who's taken the most flat of interest in it? Again, a little bit generic for those subcontractors. You know, this is a machine that's now at 26 millimeters, is the same, pretty much the same footprint as a 20 millimeter machine, far more tooling options, so that gives them more variety for work that comes through the door. Also lower price point for putting work on say a 32 millimeter machine because it was above 20 millimeters and we had nothing in between. So that, that for me is, is, is where it fits within our range. Uh, and, and it's already proven very popular with, the, with our customer base.